Welcome to another real-time trade recorded on video from start to finish. In this video, I'll be illustrating various ways to manage the trade in order to encourage you to discover a combination of elements that suits your unique mental wiring. This is the stuff of the real game. Let's get to the trade to see how it unfolds. Hey guys, Zar here. Hope all is well. Good morning to you. It's 9.39, the two minute chart. Let's go to the one minute chart real quick. Here we go. Sell stop order guys right now, right now below this candle breaking itself. Stop above at 45 points. Trend continuation. Here we go. Bear with me, just going over to my own platform. And I'm in guys, just got triggered in. Risking 45 to make 45. So my first target is 1R with an ultimate target of 2R for anything in between. I just got triggered in. I'm not loving the look of this right in this moment, but the idea is fair. Nice orderly pullback here on the open for the first 10 minutes or so. And I'm good with this. Patience now. Trend continuation trade here, guys. I think that's fairly obvious. Real consistent downtrend here uh, through mid Europe, if you like. One, two, three, four, five blue candles, bearish candles in my coloration. On the 30 minute chart, all right, that's a long time going down, breaking zones like there's no tomorrow. Let me get this nice, spiky, orderly pullback on the one minute chart right here on the open, right before the open, in fact. One minute before is when we bottomed out here, the fresh buying came in before the open, then continued. Now, a little rejection wick here. Let's see if we can flip on back down here and make this thing happen. I will show you the three sisters so you can see that there's a consistent pattern here across the board. I sent this out to my telegram group, of course, right on the open as well to show them what uh, what I'm looking at here from a uh, three sisters standpoint. And unfortunately, the Dow is behaving the strongest here all of a sudden, wanting to break above the two EMAs that does not uh, boding well here for this entry. But we'll see if this thing will flip back around and continue. the entry now and slightly below. Let's read the three sisters again. I'm going to expand this so we can really get a good view of what's going on. I'll include VWAP and the lower two and a half standard deviation band, which is down here, this red line you see. And of course we have the EMAs, 21 and 9 I use. Doesn't matter what you use really. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, whatever works for you, for your brain. Don't need to overthink many of these things. That's the one hour line there, guys, my, uh, guys, I should say, not guy, unless there's only one person watching, which has been known to happen. And it is Friday, maybe <laughs> most people are out doing other things, but well, you don't have to be watching this live, of course, or near live, I should say, on the same day. My first and primary target is 1R. It's that line right there. And then we'll talk about various models, scaling, 
and why I have more than just the 1R level marked there. And target one has been hit. So the one R all or nothing trader has exited their trade, taken full profits and left the table. The scale out trader has taken off a portion of their position, potentially if they're trading in the same way that I am. And uh, maybe they've taken off 50% or one quarter, one third, three quarters, 90%. I know some traders do. And then leaving some for these other targets here Traders who have taken off some may in fact move their stop to break even at this point or move their stop to half an hour or move it above this pivot that was formed after the trade was entered. Many different ways to do this. Some traders will leave their stop, their original stop in place for the entire life of the trade. So many ways to do this and this is why I discuss many ways now. will remind you of my four sub models as part of the Razor, Razor's Edge uh, profit taking um, model using six equal units. Model one is all or nothing. Equal scale out is model two, 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 and two. Model three, three, two, one. Model four is a one, two, three. And then we have the four stop loss management models. Never changing it, moving it to break even and leaving it there for the life of the trade trailing to targets as each successive target is met or trailing above pivots for instance moving it down to here maybe down to here if another pivot is formed here move it down right and I have videos explaining exactly how these models work but they're fairly self-explanatory my goal here of course is to have you really think about this and study the various trade videos and come up with a combination of of elements that work for you, for your temperament, your personality, your nature, your sentiment, your risk aversion, your risk tolerance, your fear triggers, your level of confidence, your level of experience, all of these things, and then uh, combine them in a way that allows you to extract profits consistently from the market because that's the way the real game works. There are over 600 videos, trade videos, real trade videos of how I manage my trades in my account. I'm not showing that anymore. I'm showing you uh, even though I took this trade, by the way, uh, the uh, I'm showing you various ways to think about this so that you can develop your own model, and I think that's so much more beneficial. And that has been the feedback, by the way. And so thank you for that. Appreciate your comments, your DMs, and in every other way you connect with me from my Telegram group and beyond. Much appreciated. New low for the move. In this fairly clean range here. So we're just asking prices really to fill this wick from earlier this morning from the opening, uh, pardon me, the candle before the open here on the one minute. Big drive down and then rejection. Target two has been hit, guys. One and a half R has now been hit. See if we can drive down and get that second target as well, or third target, I should say. Just being patient, cool, calm, and collected. Managing impulses to close the trade. Some traders, of course, would move their stop and lock in along these different levels, and that's okay too. Another way would be to trail top of candles one here, two here, two here and so on. This is a two minute chart now. I started off with a one minute and then neaten it up a little bit. Let's see if we can get that one more push. The same forces that bought up this candle here, right here, are still here in play. And just defending this a little bit, but it can still drive lower. Let me show you the three sisters. 
They're off the charts now, literally. <laughs> See that there? It's still room for this to move, just a little bit. We're not asking too much here. Little sip of caffeine. Nope. One point away. <laughs> How frustrating is that? And we've done it, guys. 90 points and two are hitting the third target here on the trade. Nicely done. Thank you for being with me. Appreciate you. Appreciate your patience and your support. Thank you for saying hi in the comments on the way out. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Have an amazing weekend if we don't come back this afternoon with some more trading, which we might do. This is a movement today, so it's looking pretty good. We'll talk soon, guys. Have a great one. Thank you.